Hey guys, I just like 15 minutes ago got my new glasses and um, I'm still adjusting to them so my vision is kind of like, I don't know, it's just kind of like disorienting because everything seems like closer. Um, I have bifocals so I'm having to adjust to how, I mean I've always, well not always, but I've had bifocals for years but it's, I'm, just, I'm having to adjust to how these bifocals are like in the lenses and everything and these are a different shape than my others so I'm still getting used to that and they're heavier than my other glasses because they're obviously like thicker here and everything so they're a lot heavier like on my head. I wanted to film this, it's pretty early right now but I wanted to film it now because at one o'clock I had an appointment to get my wisdom teeth out. I mean I had to go to the eye doctor and the dentist in the same day. <laughs> and, um, but I have to get my wisdom teeth out at one and so we're leaving in probably just a couple of minutes to go over there and I'm terrified but I wanted to film before that because I don't know what I'm gonna be like after that so yeah but I'm terrified I'm scared of needles and I'm scared of blood and I have to get a shot to get the anesthesia and obviously there's probably going to be some amount of blood because they're cutting my mouth open because my teeth haven't come through. They have to like cut open my gums to get my teeth out and I'm terrified and I don't know how it's going to go. I haven't eaten. I wasn't, it was like early this morning when it started like where I couldn't eat so many hours before so I woke up um, early today to eat stuff before I wasn't allowed to eat but I'm already like extremely hungry and once I get my wisdom teeth out I'm probably not going to want to eat any solid foods so my mom bought like a ton of like pudding and stuff I think for me to eat but I mean right now I just really want food and I don't think pudding would help much right now because I'm already starving. One thing that I almost forgot to mention but that I want to mention is I hardly ever remember my dreams ever and but for some reason I had a couple dreams last night that I have like vague recollections of but um because I kept waking up this morning like I woke up to eat food and then I went back to sleep and everything but one dream that I had last night that I like actually like remember the most of involved I was at the playground of my old school the school I went to from preschool to eighth grade only um, it was a really small school so we had a really small playground but in my dream it was like multiplied by like ten times or something like everything was in the same place it was just like more area and there were a ton of people there and in my dream it was like I knew them but they weren't my friends like they were all people I knew um, but I wasn't like really close to but I don't remember who any of them were and I remember, I know I talked to a couple of people, but I can't really remember who they were. All I remember was this one girl coming to get me at one point. And I feel like I knew who she was in the dream, but I can't remember now. And she took me on the playground equipment to the slide and like had me sit down on the slide and then left me. And so I was just sitting there alone. <laughs> And then all of a sudden I decide, okay, I'm not going to sit here anymore. But for some reason, instead of sliding down the slide, I stood up and went to walk down the stairs of the playground equipment. And I get to the stairs of the playground equipment and there are three boys sitting on the stairs. One of whom is Liam Payne from One Direction, just randomly sitting on the stairs. And I feel like in the dream I knew that all of One Direction was there. But he's the only one I saw in the dream. But they're just sitting on the stairs and I asked them to move so that that I could like walk down the stairs obviously but they just like looked at me for a little bit and I was freaking out and I'm like they're not gonna move and what how am I gonna get down even though there's like two slides and everything but finally they got up and moved and let me walk down the stairs and then I was just walking around the playground until I run into my friend Haley who's also like a huge fan of One Direction and so of course in the dream I'm like Haley I just ran into Liam like I randomly found Liam and I was like fangirling with her and then I left and continued to wander around the playground alone for a while and that's all I remember of the dream so it was really weird that's the first time I remember having a dream that had anything to do with One Direction but, it, I mean, I like, that's the first dream I've even remembered in like months. But, yeah, I just thought I'd share that story. But we'll see what happens when I get my wisdom teeth out. I plan on filming something later today, but I don't know how late after. We'll see what the drugs do. Hey guys, I just got my wisdom teeth out. 
about an hour and a half ago or so, I still have gauze in my mouth, which I'm sure you can tell, and I also have the hiccups, and, but uh, I don't have any footage from right after it, uh, and I didn't really act any really weird or anything like that. Um, I don't know how long this is going to be because hurting or talk, talking does hurt right now. But um, because the numbness of my mouth has worn off, my bottom lip just, like the numbness in my bottom lip just went away like five minutes ago, seriously. Um, and it happened really fast, but before that, like my bottom lip felt <laughs> huge and I couldn't do anything and I was trying to drink water. I hadn't been able to eat or drink anything for six hours before. And so I was, and then like, of course they were holding my mouth open the entire time they were taking out my teeth. So, I was extremely thirsty when I first got out of there, but it was so hard to drink with the gauze in and the fact that my mouth was so numb, so I ended up spilling water everywhere. But it's getting better now, my mouth isn't numb anymore, so I can like actually move it around and stuff, but I am still bleeding, hence why I still have gauze in. And since it's not numb anymore, I'm in pain, and I took, I have prescription pain medicine, and I took it. But, um, I took it over, like, an hour ago, and it's still, like, I'm, I'm sure I would be in a lot more pain right now if I hadn't taken it, but I definitely am still in pain. It wasn't quite as scary as I thought it was going to be. I got really freaked out about getting the IV because I've had surgery before when I was, like, really little to get my adenoids out, and I only have, like, vague memories of it. But getting, I'm scared of needles, and getting the IV horrified me, but luckily they had me like down on the bed or chair, whatever, <clears throat> and so I couldn't like see anything. Um, the surgeon had told me before that it, it took about 45 minutes, but it would feel about 5 minutes for me, but um, since they don't use as much anesthesia as they do in the hospital, you go like in and out of sleep, like you'll half wake up and then they give me, yeah, they give you like more medicine to knock you out again and um, that is like what, like I would wake up, like it never really felt like I was asleep, like it felt like I was like half asleep the entire time because um, the, I could hear them talking, like it felt like I was constantly hearing them talking, even though I'm sure like I'd passed out like in between it and stuff, and I wasn't able to follow their conversation or anything like that, so I was like fading in and out, but like when I'd start to fade in and I was able to tell what they were doing to my te teeth, I'm really sorry about the hiccups, but it wasn't as freaky as I thought that would be because that really worried me at first, like waking up and realizing what they were doing. But it really didn't, I don't know if it was because I was half asleep or what, like I couldn't really feel, I could feel what they were doing, but it wasn't painful. And then afterwards, pretty much the only thing was, is my mouth was so dry, like it's completely dry and I wanted to drink so badly and I wanted food so badly, um, and I had trouble walking at first, but I still am kind of dizzy when I walk, but it's not that bad. And now I'm in pain, but, um, and I got irri really irritable for a bit, but I'm not, I don't think that was the medicine. I think that was either lack of food, lack of sleep, because I had trouble getting up this morning, and I, I kept waking up and then going back to sleep and everything. But, I, and, um, also I might possibly be PMSing, but, um, yeah, I didn't do anything crazy or anything like that. Um, my mouth really does hurt from talking, though, so I'm gonna go now, and I will see you guys later. Bye.